knocked down, but not knocked out. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. Therefore we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Knocked down, but not knocked out. You see, in life, there are going to be the situations at which the Apostle Paul describes uh, very vividly. He says, we are hard pressed on every side, but we are not crushed. Meaning, we can feel the pressure coming in, but it's not squeezing the life out of us. Or it's not squeezing us to death. We are not crushed. He says, we are persecuted, but we are not forsaken. So people may come against us. They may say harsh things against us. But there is God who is for us. We are not forsaken. God hasn't forgotten us or forsaken us. And then he says, we are struck down, but not destroyed. Or in, in, in modern terms, we could say it like this. We are struck down, but we are not knocked out. See, there may be times when life punches you so hard, you're down on the ground. But you get up before the count is over. You can come back strong. God puts you back on your feet. And God doesn't abandon you even when you're down on the ground. He's the one who helps you and me rise back up get back on our feet and move forward in life. And as Paul continues in that same chapter, he gives us a certain secret of how he is able to do this time and time again. That even though he is struck down, he is not destroyed. Even though he may be perplexed, he is not hopeless. Even though he may be uh, pressed in on every side, he is not crushed. What is the secret? He says, look, we don't lose heart. Even though we know that the outward man is perishing, even though the, that there are all these things happening in the natural, here's our key. We do not look at things which are seen, but at things which are not seen. That means my eyes are beyond what meets the eye. My eyes are on what is in the realm of the spirit. My eyes are on what is eternal. God, his word, his truth, his call, his promise, uh, him being with me, that is what keeps us going. That is what enables us not to lose heart. That means not to give up. Even if we find ourselves on the ground, we don't give up because our eyes are not on the ground. Our eyes are not in the situation that we are in. Our eyes are on what is eternal. Our eyes are on what is beyond what meets the eye. We are seeing past the natural. We are able to look to God, knowing that God is for us. And there is an eternal weight of glory that's laid up for us. And so we can not lose heart. We trust that God will put us back on our feet. I want to encourage you today. Even if you find yourself struck down, knocked down, remember the game is not over. You're not knocked out. God will put you back on your feet. So don't lose heart. Keep your eyes on what's unseen. Keep your eyes on God himself. His word, His promise, His, He will come through for you. Let's pray. Father, I ask that encouragement will come into our hearts so that even if we find ourselves knocked down, we know we are not knocked out because You are God who helps us back on our feet and lifts us up to a place of glory. Help us to see the unseen and to walk that way. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.